What's poppin' mangoes? It's your boy Black Jr. back with another episode, and today Jubilee dropped another episode of Odd One Out. Today is six Satanists versus one secret Christian. And because I'm not really on either team, I'm rocking white today because I don't really fuck with the devil. So how does everyone identify in the sense of are you atheist, agnostic? I'm a atheistic uh, Satanist from the Satanic Temple. Also atheist TST. Yep. Yeah, same. same here. Same. Oh, same. <laughs> I was thinking there was going to be some Church of Satan people here. Same. Yeah. Or self-identifying. <laughs> I'm more traditional Church of Satan okay. kind of Lebanon. mentality. Lebanon. I actually identify as a Luciferian witch. Um, I practice a lot of magic and occultism. I love your vibe, by the way. Oh, thank I, you. I, yeah. Everyone looks amazing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I feel very underdressed. Going in, I was especially suspicious of Lisa because ballet flats. I actually learned about Satanism from a Jubilee video and it's been about six months. Oh, wow. So really props mm -hmm. to you guys for introducing yeah. me to it. Officially, I've only been Satanist for about a year. I kind of had to deal with some former Christian like religious trauma to get there. I'm really similar. I actually grew up Christian and it wasn't until college where I, I started exploring my queerness more and stepping into it. I just didn't want to believe in something that was going to damn me for, to hell for who I loved. I joined the temple a little over a year ago. In general, I love Halloween and anything spooky, so, <laughs> so I was kind of just drawn to it to begin with. Reading the temple's tenets and learning more about it, it just really resonated with me. Shelby's body language kind of conveyed that she was nervous, and I imagine that a Christian would probably feel nervous in a group of Satanists. Actually, I have a quick question about everybody's relationship with their family, specifically their parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my dad is the only one of my parents who knows that I'm Satanist. My mom is so Christian and she's constantly shoving that. Um, I, I just, um, I, I just, I, I don't like, I don't really know what to say right now because first of all, a lot of the stuff that they're saying is so cringy, but the, the stuff that I understand is very cringy. The stuff I don't understand, it's also cringy because like they're over here I don't know. I don't know what I should say right now because, you know, God forbid, Satan forbid for these people. A couple Jubilee contestants have found my videos already and commented under it. So now, what if one of these Satan worshippers find my video, you feel me? And I'm over here saying, oh, she says she likes Halloween, so she became a Satanist. Oh, she became a Satanist because she saw a Jubilee video. Oh my God. So if I talk shit about these people, they're gonna call their freaking Lord and Savior, Lucifer, to curse me, okay? Now, I'm a black ginger. I got it hard enough, in my opinion. I don't need no Satanists poking me with voodoo dolls and hexing me with charms, okay? So I'm gonna watch my words. Okay? I'm gonna watch my words. And if I don't say anything in this video, it's just gonna be a lot of my face because my face is gonna say a lot more than my mouth this episode, I think, because I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared to talk about these people. I'm gonna be honest. Stuff down my throat, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, it would be hard to tell her. But, but, but who do we think is a Satanist here? Because I almost forgot to ask the question. Is it blue hair? Is it the blonde girl in the ripped black jeans? Or the black haired girl in the ripped black jeans? Maybe. It's the girl with the red eyes. Or maybe it's the girl who sounds like she could be Australian? I don't know. Maybe it's the one black person here. Or maybe it's the one guy here. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. So I'm gonna play the red herring game. If you don't know what that means, look it up, my friend. Look it up. What is a red herring? Google it. R-E-D-H-E-R-R-I-N-G, baby. I, I honestly have no idea who I think the Satanist is because this is hard. And I, again, I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to offend anybody, call you a Christian. Next thing I know, you're a Satanist. You're pissed off and offended. And now I, I lost my fucking finger. I don't know how this works. So if I have to guess, I'm playing the red herring game. Who looks the most like a Satanist here? I have to go with blue haired girl. That's my guess. Who looks the least like a Christian? Miss blue hair over here. That's my guess. It's her. I don't know. If I'm if I'm wrong, I'm I'm really sorry. P please, please don't hurt me. Her backstory about how she got into Satanism seemed really kind of shaky to me. What? <laughs> you guys are wrong, but bye. Sorry. 
I wish I could say I was surprised, but I really wasn't. I think most of it was because of, of how I was dressed. I'm gonna be honest though, about you, Lisa. I don't know much about Satanists, but I feel like you're smiling way too much to be a Satanist. That's, that's it. That's, that's why I feel like she probably got voted out because she smiles too much. I had a question for Coco. I just wanted to ask, when you practice your Satanism, it's mainly personal, you said, right? Like, you don't really follow the temple or? No, I don't follow LTS too. No, not at no, all. Or, no. But you said you're more towards LaVey and the church. I don't really like being tethered to anyone's rules or feel like I'm supposed to be Mm -hmm. in any kind of box. So I think the TST does really great work, but I also wish they kind of expanded because mm -hmm. a lot of the focus is on abortion rights and there's mm -hmm. just so much going on in the world with like environmentalism, racism. You know? There are a lot of different factions that yeah. focus on yeah. different yeah. things and different oh, towns. Yeah. I was suspicious of Shelby because they were suspicious of me and maybe they were trying to deflect attention from themselves and direct it more towards me. I have a weird proposal. Is there a possibility that if we sniff each other that one person might smell really different. And I think it could be pheromones. Oh, whoa, okay. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm into it, but come, come sniff if you want. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. <laughs> go, go for it. Go ahead. Now I'm like, I hope. What the hell is wrong with Jubilee choosing people that wanna sniff everybody? Last episode, the guy was like, okay, let's find out who's drunk. Let me smell everyone's breath. Now we got a freaking Satanistic, Satanistic, we got a Satanistic bloodhound over here about to go up and smell pheromones on people, hoping that maybe they'll smell a little bit of Jesus Christ. I don't really understand this one. I don't understand why anybody thinks their olfactory, I threw that word out for you, their olfactory senses are gonna find anybody. That, that's not how you find moles. That's just, I, I just don't, no part of me understands why people want to smell each other. Maybe it's a kink. Maybe there's just something wrong with their heads. Not her though, because she's a Satanist and she could hurt and she she could hurt me. But uh, the other guy, there's something, there's something wrong with his head. You feel me? I don't, I don't know. Why why are we smelling people? That, that's my that's my question. Hope I smell good. I've got alien goddess and glare on, so I should. I, want to, I mean, I'm not going to well, be the judge I of this. I don't know what I'm yeah. looking I for. I know, I that's the thing. I can't trust my nose, so that's not going to help me at all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm congested. I have reason. one nostril that's not working. In my mind, I'm kind of questioning Coco, and I'm kind of questioning you. Just because you are I'm a little bit I'm questioning you. Yeah. Because you haven't talked a lot. Well, so just so you guys right. know, in case you have any doubts about me, I did go viral last year on TikTok for talking about my Satanism. I thought so. you looked familiar. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you prove that? What the heck? You can be of Christian and go viral for talking about Satan. That doesn't mean anything. And you could also be a liar. Maybe she doesn't even have TikTok. You ever think of that one? I don't know. The, 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 the rules for deciding who is the faker in these episodes, it's all over the place. I thought last episode was crazy because they were all drunk. I, I don't know. Maybe, this pe maybe people are just not detectives. I, I don't know. I think and I I'm actually know challenging her, so. you because you kind of speak in generalities from this round to the last. You seem like you researched last minute type of thing. Maybe I'm wrong. I wish I had more time to talk. I thought it was really weird because I thought he would be super smelly because he's wearing this latex outfit that would make you really sweaty, but he had no smell at all. She Girl, what's your problem? What do you mean? I thought he was gonna be super smelly. Listen, listen, I don't even care if I get freaking voodoo dolled right now. That girl is crazy. Why does she think her nose would point her in the direction of Jesus? I, I don't know. She just didn't really do a lot of the talking. Um, she was kind of hanging in the background. We counted all the votes and there's a tie. Okay. The tie is between Kara and Shelby. Each of you has 30 seconds to state your case, starting with Shelby. So I don't have a religious background at all. I was raised completely agnostic. Um, I really did just have to go about my life to figure out what it was that I believed. And the core beliefs and the tenets of TST just are really who I am as a person. You know, I've yeah, no, I, I mean, I did grow up Christian. I'm not gonna hide that. I definitely did. I, like I said, I also have a lot of trauma. I relate to that. I'm in the stage of just being really angry. The tenants really are something that I strive to live by because I think organized religion just causes more harm than it does, like, than it does actual humanity, so. I need to Google, I need to Google what the tenants of Satanism are. Cause why do people feel so attached 
to the tenets of Satanism. I need to understand this one. All right, it says here that there are seven fundamental tenets of the Satanic Church. One, one should strive to act with compassion and empathy towards all creatures in accordance with reason. Seven, every tenet is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility in action and thought. The spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken word. If I have to be honest, I don't object to any of that. And if that's what being a Satanist is about, and I don't have to like do any blood sacrifices to the Lord and Savior, Satan, Satan, I don't know, Satan Christ. So that's probably offensive. Satan Rice. Ooh, that's probably more offensive. Let's just cut back to the show. Wait, go, let me get a little, do a little. Good luck. I do realize that I was being kind of quiet and I didn't get a lot in to say, so I, I wasn't surprised. My fault, but my friends just came over, so for me, about six hours have gone by in, in between whatever I'm gonna put in between these six hours. For you, it should only be like two seconds, so my fault, we're gonna get back into it. Please raise your hand if you think that the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue playing the game. Starting now, for every time all of you vote out someone that is not the mole, the total prize money will be reduced. So, I'm suspicious of you um, because, strangely enough, you had no smell. Uh, Why is she still on the smelling thing? It's been six hours. That but that's the only thing I can go off right now because everyone's giving good answers. Okay. So, if we have any questions that might go on a deeper level. Yeah, um, I actually have one. Right. Um, this might be a little personal, but uh, what is everybody's kinks and fetishes? Because I think oh, I used satanic to be a temple people might have those a little bit more than a Christian. That's just my bias, though. I'm, I'm exploring my kinks more right. these days, like since I've just recently gotten into a lot of this stuff. Um, I was also, don't want to get too personal, but I uh, was molested as a child, so my sexuality's kind of been all over the place in some very bad places. and. Hopefully now some good places, some positive, healthy places. Okay, interesting. I'm sorry for what happened to you, though. Yeah. That's awful. I do find that a lot of Christians can be very fetishy and also yeah. very submissive. I don't know, I kind of feel like she's what she went viral. I definitely have no doubts about you. I'm married to a drag queen yeah. and I'm in the dark art society. No offense, but you would look Christian, so I don't I don't want to choose you because you kind of like would be too obvious. Mm -hmm. You also seem very heartfelt, but that's the whole point, right? Everyone's lying. So what do we think at this point as a group? Like I wasn't suspicious of you before, but now I'm a little bit suspicious of yeah. you. Just because there's crossover communities, sure. I mean vote me out if you want, it's just less money for you no, guys. Well, <laughs> I, I I don't want to share with anybody. That's yeah. very Luciferian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had my doubts about you from the beginning just because, uh, no. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the contacts and everything, it's a little overboard. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we're trying Those to figure out eyes. Who is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ave seemed just very overconfident and she had all the right answers and she knew all the terms. You know, this girl could have researched over the past week. <laughs> we vote them out already then? No, I'm like. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't think so. Okay, That's well hard. then who's, who are you suspicious of? I'm still suspicious of these two. Oh. Ask me questions. How can I help alleviate that? Uh, deny Christ here. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an atheist. <laughs> no, deny Christ. Deny the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll do it. There's no power in the Holy Spirit. There's no power in anything. I don't except believe humanity. In, yeah, I don't believe in any supernatural. I don't believe in any God figure. I also agree. Say I it. am a skeptic. Okay. But do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? No. I do feel a lot more suspicious of you now because now I'm convinced by him because all the blasphemy that a Christian isn't supposed to do. Yeah, I mean. And you seem very hesitant, so you reworded it before you actually said it. Look, so. Totally, that's fair. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. I mean, she did it, dodged it twice and she just could not get out from that. I mean, again, I'm gonna, I, I grew up in that lens, right? And that was like day one, that was embedded into me. And as I just mentioned a few answers ago. Like we should. Very background in that we were raised Christian, we right. have that, you know. And I will, I will say with that, again, I think this is a journey and like, as we talk about psychology, it's like still unpeeling a lot of layers for me. So yeah, like maybe a little hesitant because that inner lens, that like one year old self of me is just activated in that, but I'm still learning to peel back those layers of what I was raised in. Does that, does that help make sense? Yeah. 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 Yeah, she's definitely getting voted out this round. That was the victory. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. 
I knew when Nathaniel denounced Christ and suspicious was off him that I was absolutely going to be eliminated. Please raise your hand if you think that the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue playing the game. I'll be very upset if a Christian runs out of here with $500. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I would. If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn it's red, gonna be. I'm telling you, it's blue hair. No one even suspected her one time. It's gotta be Miss Blue Hair. Yes! Woo! Hell yes. yeah. Was it the last girl for real? <laughs> Hail, Hail Satan. <laughs> Can the mole please reveal their identity? In three, two, one. Love guys. Uh, yeah. Bro, she didn't. <laughs> I'm done here. She didn't even like freaking get anybody, bro. They were all 100% sure. As soon as he said to denounce Christ and she hesitated twice, it was over. Even I knew it was over, bro. Like I said, I was too scared to say anything really too specific about anything this episode because I didn't want to offend anybody. And then I didn't want them to come and curse me. So I was wrong. And to the blue-haired girl, I'm so sorry. Please don't be offended. I'm a, I, we could be friends, okay? We can be friends, all right? We could talk about it. We could, you could tell me about why you want to be a Satanist and tell me why it's right. Tell me why I should get rid of this negative bias I have against Satanists, okay? And to this girl, she, she didn't even play the part well at all, honestly. I wanted to switch my answer at the end, but I don't want to go back on my word. She, she freaking, Nathaniel, shout out to Nathaniel. One boring monologue later. Yeah, I'm gonna just stop talking. Thank you guys for stopping by today. I'll catch you guys next time. Live forward, learn backwards. Peace.